Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back. Well guys, in previous videos I did some uh, tutorials on UV mapping and so forth and uh, we're going to take the next step, okay? We're going to take a slightly more complicated object and uh, that is what we're going to UV, alright? Cool. So, let's start by creating a, a fairly simple object. We'll take a polygon pipe I'll hit R to scale that out, like so. E to rotate that to 90 degrees. Okay. We'll give that a bit more subdivision. Let's do 30. We'll do 3 in height. And we'll do 3 in caps, like that. Okay. And then we're going to start to manipulate this guy. All right. So we're going to hit B on our keyboard for soft select. We're going to right click, go to vertex. And by holding down B and left click and dragging, you can make the area that you want to impact bigger or smaller. So we'll just take that, we'll hit W, and we're just going to start to make this into kind of an odd shaped object. Okay. Kind of a UV nightmare if you want. All right. And we'll just uh, hold down B and left click to make the impacted area a bit bigger. And we'll take a bit of the inside here. And it doesn't really matter what we do here, it's just that we have some kind of odd object. All right, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard. So this is the guy that we want to UV, all right? Now first, what we're gonna do without UVing it, we're just gonna apply a material to it. So I'm gonna right click and go to object mode, right click, assign new material. Actually, before we do that, let's smooth this guy out. We're gonna go to mesh and smooth just to make it slightly more complicated. Okay, cool. So we got this selected. We're gonna right click assign new material. We're gonna do a Lambert. We're gonna go to checkered box, file, folder. And I have a checkered pattern here somewhere, right there. And we're gonna turn on our checkered ball right there. Okay. So this is the guy that we want to UV, all right? Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this guy and there are a number of projections that we can do here, but we're going to go to UV and we're going to go to automatic and that doesn't look too great. So let's try something else. Let's do UV and um, technically it's cylindrical. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that. All right. Next, we're going to go up to UV and UV set editor. Sorry, not set editor, UV and UV editor. Okay. So this is what we got right there. Now, you need to keep in mind that for an object like this, in order to flatten this out as one flat 2D texture, you need to have a seam somewhere, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a seam straight through the middle. So I'm just going to turn off my checker here so you can see it. Right click edge and I'm going to take that edge all the way through and all the way around and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to take that one in the middle as well. Okay. We're going to go to UV, UV editor and I'm going to go up to polygons and we're going to go to cut UV edges. Okay. So now if I right click and go to shell I have a number of options. I can hit W and I can move this out. And I got this. And I got this. And I got this. Okay. So that's all the stuff we got. Now let's start to kind of make this more pleasable to the eye, if you will. Okay. So I'm going to select this guy and I'm going to go up and down to unfold. And it kind of makes everything a bit smaller here. And then we'll take this guy and unfold. 
and let's see what we got. So we got one shell, two, three, and whatever that is. Okay, cool. So now we're going to have a look at our object and kind of see what's what. So as we select this guy, that's that half portion. Okay. And that's the other one. So these two need to be connected. Okay. So we're going to take this and we're going to move that up here. We'll take this one and move that up there. And then we're going to zoom in. And we're going to kind of see what's connected where. So we're going to right click at the edge. And as we select these edges, you can see that it's following that flow on the left there. Okay, so I'm going to drag select these edges and then go up and down to move and sew edges. We have to scroll out again because it now has put that together. Right click shell. It looks like it put everything together, so we don't want that. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Apparently, I selected one edge that I shouldn't have selected. Ah, oh, I know. It's the one at the end there. Sorry. Okay. So, that tells me that I need to be a bit more careful. And instead of drag selecting it, I'll do it this way. And we're going to go to Move and Sew. So, that has now been connected. We're going to check again what we have so far. Right click shell, and as you can see, that's wrapping around nicely. And as we don't really have a seam there, that means that we can connect these two ends up as well. So we're going to right click at edge, and as I select these edges going down, they correspond with these over there, and these as well. So we're going to go to move and sew, and that looks a bit off. So we're going to right click at a shell. We're going to select this and we're going to go to polygons and unfold. And it has now put it down here again. This is our guy. Okay. So right click shell. This now corresponds with that whole half there. Okay. And then we're going to look at the other half. So we're going to right click at a shell. We're going to take this guy. And it looks like that covers everything over there. There is one issue though, as you can see here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move in. And that's that little piece right here. Okay. And first with this selected, we're going to go up to polygons and unfold. Okay. That cleans it up a bit. This is the one we want. And let's see if we can close that gap. So I'm going to make this window a bit bigger. And we're going to look at this edge right here. Right click edge. Let's see where that goes. And much over there at the end. Okay, so select that. And we're going to, where do you go? Move and sew. This guy goes in there. Move and sew. We're going to right click, go to shell, select that, and go up to unfold. This looks like it needs to be connected up. So right click edge these and these polygons move and sew these guys and these guys uh, where you go move and sew this one and that one move and sew we're gonna right click go to shell once again and let's Unfold. Nice. So they both look nice and clean. All right. So last but not least, we're going to drag select all of this and we're going to go to polygon and layout. 
So they're now both positioned correctly in my zero to one space. And if I turn back on my seams, you can see that I need, well, I don't need, but I can rotate them to a point where they kind of connect up a bit better. So if I were to go to UV editor and I would rotate that, you can see that that's jumping around. I can also manually rotate it. And let's see if I can find the corresponding lineup or not. But that's the thing that you're going to get when you have a seam, okay? Not too bad, okay? All right, so that is a little bit about uh, UVing uh, slightly more complex objects, um, how to cut seams, how to uh, move and sew seams, how to unwrap, how to lay out, and how to position, okay? So hopefully this short tutorial was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll help you if I can. Thank you. Bye.